everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and I've got a great project for you today. Let's take a look at this quilt behind me. Isn't this fun? It's just pretty, love the batiks. This is the block we're talking about, and it's a really easy project to do with strips. It's all about those two and a half inch strips. So to make this quilt, what you're gonna need is one package of two and a half inch strips, and we have used Paradise Petals. Um, by Kathy Engel for Island Batiks and it's gorgeous line. You're also going to need one and three quarter yards of black background fabric and that's going to take care of all these squares and this first border. For this outer border out here, it's a nice five and a half inch border and you're going to need um, one and a quarter yards for that outer border. So let me show you how to do this because this is really fun. So you're going to go through your pack and I have a bunch of strips that are opened here and you can see how pretty they are and you're gonna choose three strips and you're gonna sew them together. Now I have some sewn together right here. So I have a set of these already sewn together right here. And you can see I've sewn them together using my quarter of an inch and they're all ironed toward me. And we're gonna make some cuts on this strip set. And the first two cuts we're gonna make is six and a half inch square. Now, you're gonna to wanna to measure how tall yours are. So however tall they are, that's how wide you're gonna cut them. And if you do the exact quarter of an inch, they're gonna be six and a half. And I'm just gonna straighten up this edge right here in the front that has all your little salvage. Now with, with a batik, you don't get much salvage. And so it's, uh, you know, you're not losing much there. There's no little holes or anything like that. So we're going to count over six and a half, and we're going to cut two squares that are six and a half, and you're going to do this out of each strip set. So there's our two six and a half inch squares. And then we're going to bring this over, and we're going to, um, we're going to cut two 12 and a half inch pieces next. And I'm going to, again, I'm just going to straighten up this edge right here and then cut two, two 12 and a half inch pieces. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 and a half right here. And I'm just gonna trim those and cut. So once you cut your 12 and a half inch, you're just gonna set this aside and these are gonna make the strips for our block. Now we need to cut six and a half inch black squares as well. So you're gonna take your background fabric, you're gonna cut six and a half inch strips and you're gonna subcut those into six and a half inch blocks. Now one thing to remember is that when you sew your seams together, if your block comes out a different size, again, this one was six and a half, so we cut it six and a half to make a square. Um, if it, say it came out six, you'd wanna cut these to match it at six. So just, just remember that, you know, because uh, it depends a lot on your seam allowance and I don't want you to feel frustrated because the seam allowance is, isn't quite right. So let me show you how we put this together. We're gonna take our first black square and it helps me to build a block first. And I, put, I make sure that my, well, I'm gonna pick one color and I'm picking the light, light purple and I'm gonna put those toward the center of my block just like that. These next ones, I'm also going to make sure that the purple goes next to the block. And I'm going to have a dark square in this corner and a dark square in this corner. And again, make sure my light purple um, comes together to form to circle that square. That's how that goes. These two units then we're then gonna sew together and then these units we're gonna sew together as well. So let's go to the sewing machine and do that. I'm just gonna attach this on here and line it up and sew it down. Now I'm using a lighter thread. Normally I would use a darker thread. Oh, I got a little snag here. There we go. Get all my threads out of there. And then we're gonna do the other side. And then we'll sew that center row together. This is a very fast block and it's a fun one too. Oh, my thread's unthreaded. I know we have a lot of scissors, but I just bit my thread. This happens to us sometimes. Our thread comes out. 
And we are all about re-threading because it doesn't work to sew with no thread. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty, and now our center, we're going to put this and we're just going to make sure that we remember that the purple is going toward our, this, our black square. And then I'm going to flip this around and remind myself again that the light purple goes to the square because that is something that I forget right there. I'll get my block all done and I'll be like, what? <laughs> this doesn't look right at all. All right, let's go over here and press these and I'm just going to roll them back. like that. And then this one I'm going to roll, I'm going to roll it toward the, uh, the black. That will help it nest. There we go. And then we're ready to put these on this side and this one on this side. And see these are your only seams you're matching up are these two right here. So we're going to lay them on top of each other and sew down. And this makes such a nice big block. And then our next one over here. Okay. I'm going to flip. I have a seam that's I've got going the wrong way. I'm going to flip underneath and uh, go ahead and flip it the other direction so these nest better. There we go. And then I'm going to bring this to the ironing board and just press that nice and flat. I've got a little thread right here, so I'm going to clip that off. And this is your block, just like this. So let me show you how this fits up here. So we've got this row right here goes like this and you're going to keep it the same every time you put it together. You're just going to line it up like that. So let me show you. I've got some blocks over here that are already made because this is kind of fun to see what happens. I love watching the secondary things that happen when you do this. So we are always going to have our dark square up to the right and we're just going to sew them together like this and you're going to have three in the top row like this. And then here's our top row right here and four down. That makes a pretty good size quilt. And you're basically, you're just going to lay these on top of each other, sew your quarter of an inch seam and sew them down. Now when the next two rows come together right here, see how this lines up right here? You've got your, your little three strips and your three strips and those line up and form a unit. It's one of those things that does kind of visual tricks with our eyes and I love it when those kind of things happen. So let me see what size this quilt makes because it's a pretty good one. It's 68 by 86 so it's a good size quilt. Let's look at the backing on it. That's fun. It's fun to use some of these big prints on your back and you're going to need uh, five and a quarter yards for your backing. And so it's just a great project, easy and quick, a lot of fun. Don't hesitate to play with that layout. I mean, if you, if you start changing your layout and putting your squares together, you're going to get all kinds of different things. So don't be afraid to try that as well. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Town Square Quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.